Congratulations on your new security system and welcome to the co-family. Over the next few minutes, I'll be walking you through the installation of your new system. Installation is easy. You will place and plug in your panel, create a master passcode, install your sensors, and check the signals. Let's begin by opening your Cove control panel in the box labeled number one. The outlet you use should not be controlled by a switch and should not be a GFCI outlet. That means the outlet should not have a reset button. Once you have selected your panel location, plug it in. To comply with National Electric Code, secure the power plug with the provided screw. Your panel will power on and begin to connect to the monitoring station automatically. This can take a few minutes. Once this step is completed, we are ready to begin setup. The screen will ask you to enter a four-digit master code. Do not forget this code. It will allow you to not only arm and disarm your system, but also access your panel settings. The panel screen will now prompt you to trigger and install each sensor. This video will show you how to trigger and install the four most common sensor types. You can click the link on our other videos to learn how to trigger and install other sensors. Let's begin with your motion sensors. To identify each motion sensor you have in hand, press the small button on the side of the casing. The panel will announce the name of the sensor. The screen will show the sensor name and some tips on how to install it. For more tips, review the installation guide. If you have pets, please be aware that the motion sensitivity can be adjusted by using the jumpers on the back of the sensor. Now let's mount the sensor. Take note of the top sticker on the back. Positioning the motion sensor properly is key. Place the sensor about six to seven feet above the floor, avoiding heat sources and things that could block the sensor's view. Corner mounting the sensor is usually ideal for capturing the best point of view. Avoid facing sensors towards windows or glass doors, as this could cause false alarms. Try not to place the sensor in areas of the home where pets may reside while the system is armed. Motion sensors should not be placed in non-climate controlled areas like garages or sheds. Let's move on to the door window sensors. Separate the sensor and the magnet, and the panel will prompt you how to mount it. Clean the molding and door of any dirt or residue. Remove the adhesive backing and place the sensor on the door frame, pressing firmly for 30 seconds. Now place the magnet on the door within one inch of the sensor. Remember to leave space for the door to open and close without making contact with the sensor. Don't worry if the magnet is slightly offset because of the molding. Place the sensor towards the top of the door for best results. Always mount the sensor inside the home or building away from the elements. Do not place any sensor in sheds or shops that are made of metal. Metal, mirrors, fish tanks, and thick concrete or mortar walls will weaken the sensor signal. Next, let's mount your window sensors. Your door and window sensors are the same. Separate the sensor and the magnet, and the panel will prompt you how to mount it. Clean the surface before placing the sensor. Place the magnet within one inch of the sensor with the sensor mounted to the frame and the magnet on the window pane. Be sure that your placement of the sensor will not get in the way of the window opening and closing. Depending on the window, it may be necessary to place the large sensor on the window pane and the small magnet on the frame. If needed, either piece can be at a 90 degree angle as long as the pieces are less than one inch apart. If you have any medical alert buttons or key remotes, there is no mounting or installation needed. Just simply follow the on-screen instructions to trigger them. We're almost done. Now that your equipment has been mounted properly, the panel will ask you to check if each sensor's signal reaches the monitoring station. Follow the instructions on the panel to send signals, then wait for the screen to say, Verified. The panel can check multiple signals at once. Once all signals have been verified, you will walk through a brief tutorial on how to use your panel. You can find more in-depth tutorials in your user manual or watch the video titled, Using Your Panel. Upon completion of the tutorial, you will be connected with a live representative to verify your code word. All of your sensors are working. Thank you for choosing Cove. Feel free to ask this Cove representative any questions you may have at this time. Congratulations, you are ready to use your Cove security system. Use your system daily and enjoy the peace of mind knowing that your home is protected.